Locking in an interest rate. What does that mean and how and when does that happen? So locking in a rate means that we're guaranteeing a certain interest rate for a certain period of time. Now that rate lock is guaranteed as long as your loan closes and funds before your interest rate expires. So we generally recommend that we lock an interest rate longer than we need for closing. Typical rate locks are for 15, 30, 45 days, 60 days, and even 90 days. Now all things being equal, shorter lock periods provide a better interest rate, but things are rarely equal. Interest rates can move on a daily basis. They can move up, they can move down, they can move sideways. There's a lot of volatility in the market and it changes every single day. Now, most of our investors allow us to lock in an interest rate and maintain that interest rate. But if rates move down by the time we're ready to order your loan documents, we can actually float down your interest rate to the lower rate. Now I'm a big advocate because of that reason, I'm a big advocate of locking in your interest rate at contract. Let's lock it in. We already know the numbers are going to work. Let's protect ourselves from future interest rate hikes. But if rates do move down, we can take advantage of that. Now, if we haven't yet found a property and we're just getting pre-approved, we're going to purposely pre-approve you at a slightly higher interest rate because rates may move while you're shopping. And we don't want to have to come back to you and have to re-qualify you because rates have moved up a quarter of a point. So we're going to over-qualify you just to make sure there's some uh, margin in there while you're shopping. But once you come under contract or once we start your refinance, we're going to lock in your rate right away and protect you on that. If you have any questions about interest rate locks, give us a call. Be glad to help.